In a risky operation flying in an active war zone, the U.S. and Jordanian Air Forces airdropping 66 pallets holding 38,000 ready-to-eat meals over Gaza's coastline, where U.S. officials say Palestinians would be best able to access the aid. But this Palestinian still frustrated, saying, we have land crossings, it's better to send aid via crossings, and better than airdropping via parachutes. The parachutes aid is not enough for one family. This is nothing. Officials vowing today's drop is the first of more to come, meant to supplement but not replace the now bottlenecked flow of humanitarian aid through Israel's border crossings. You can pack an awful lot into a military aircraft. You can't replicate the size and scale and scope of a convoy of 20 or 30 trucks. The U.S. now urging Israel to open more than two border crossings, as the U.N. warns one quarter of Gaza's 2.3 million residents face starvation. Today's brief sighs of relief not preventing reminders of the war zone. I cannot imagine that there is a, a plane that will uh, dropping aid into Gaza and in the same time there is another plane near to this plane uh, dropping shots and dropping bombs on those people who are trying to collect food. This is unbelievable actually. The airdrops coming amid protests in more than 30 cities across the U.S. today in support of Palestinians and calling for an end to the fighting, which U.S. officials concede is the best option for getting more aid into Gaza. Ali joins us from the White House. And Ali, there are some new developments tonight in the ceasefire negotiations. That's right. U.S. officials say Israel has basically accepted the deal's framework, but still no word from Hamas. Both sides set to meet in Egypt tomorrow. Jose? Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.